Hello, this is um, Pixie Land. Do another one of my vids. I uh, thought it was probably better to have this view than um, watch me uh, staring out, driving along. Um, yeah, basically, there you go. Basically, um, just to talk about a few things today, um, I've got more into sort of Orgon pyramids and. Um, I've got my own little formula for things as well, that's pretty cool. I've uh, been doing some sort of research and... Um, it's okay for me. That's it. And... Um, yeah, basically... Um, and... Um, I've been doing this research basically and it's about the Orgon Pyramids and Orgon and, and uh, Wilhelm Reich and I'm using the Tesla coils but I'm also and the Lemurian crystals, um, sort of quartz crystals, you basically sand, you know, if you do, um, if you look around for sort of stuff, sand that's been used for modelling and stuff like that, you can use that. You can probably use different types of sand anyway, but you, you definitely don't want any moisture, so you might have to cook it up in an oven or something like that. Um, so, my difference in what I'm doing is that I've added into it is a Norwegian pine cone. Now, I first did some research. Uh, basically, I was thinking about the Anunnaki, uh, the port of the pine cave where the head is. I mean, I know it's I know it's a kind of like uh, a clue pineal, you know that sort of thing. Um, and um, and then also it's sort of above and below and that connection as well to the um, the dantium where they've got this holding like a bucket. It's probably full of gold or something like that. So it's suggesting you need to sort of have these two elixirs to, in order to uh, sort of conduct. Um, Sort of some sort of heavenly spark between the two and do your energy levels. But the other thing with the pine cone of Norwegian, um, well, the Norwegian ones are a, a tall basically, so the pyramids I'm making um, probably range between 14 uh, centimetres high, and other ones you get a lot smaller. I mean, you can get smaller pine cones, which is less, less impressive really. so much fun. Um, I said multitasking. Up on your bloke here. Uh, <laughs> you tend to stop and have a little think. Yeah, basically um, with the pine cones is uh, for the Norwegians they're taller and I quite like the shape of them. I, I wanted to create a thinner shape but so far I haven't really found a right kind of silicon mould and it, as a result it's kind of been not so great. The uh, the actual ones that have been produced trying to wrap it around a sort of pine cone so I've still put them back in the pyramid and used them as basically the primal core core and um, the other thing with a pine cone is that it brings in that nature energy into it because I know there's an organic element like the resin but with a pine cone you've got something that's made um, through nature and also has a deeper sort of a connection there because you've got the golden ratio you've got the different type of designs within the cone the actual cone um, sta remains alive I, I mean basically my mother was saying that the cone stays alive for years on end she's known that we're basically a cone suddenly sprung to life and dropped a, dropped a load of little seeds and it's it's been um, <laughs> Cheers to the car. Um, yeah, basically it's been um, years later that the actual uh, seeds have dropped out, maybe about three years later since it's dropped off the tree, the actual cone, the pine cone. So the pine cones have, it, have a, as they could say, mentioned, somebody mentioned a lot of the weather vanes, so they react to the, uh, the humidity and the moisture in the air. And um, so there's an intelligence in them, you know, basically, even if it's at this like plant level. You know, whether it's like pheromones in the air, maybe set them off and other things, or other frequencies that we're not aware of. And um, so, basically, on Will, 
Wilhelm's uh, Reich's work is that he covers organic to metallic um, influences and um, basically um, what you've got is you've got the metal coil that runs on uh, Tesla's principles um, of this like energy building up within this field and, um, and they sort of counter out the fields as well that's the idea this sort of polarity uh, coming across into so so what I've got in one of my um, one of my pyramids I should probably take a bit I've got a picture actually I'll probably add this to the end of the video um, so it's got two coils in there it's got a, it's got a copper and it's got a silver and um, so these fields are hopefully sort of counteract some of the um, EMF and channel some of the energy now you've got crystals. Now with the crystals they do slow down the energy fields when they enter. I know they've got a principle of light, they slow down light and that's why they sparkle. So the other the other impact of it is, is basically um, is that it, it filters the energy, that's the idea, and it also amplifies the energy around it. So a crystal can be used for negative um, if you use it, if you've got the right understanding of that crystal I guess you could probably you know, basically do the reverse and use it for generate some sort of negative energy. Um, but because it's in harmony with um, the planet, it pretty much wouldn't do so well because it's been slowly created within the magnetic fields of the planet, and so it's set to a harmonic frequency. Um, and um, so, what I've done by Um, yeah, basically by adding the pine cone into the mix, it is amplifying the energy from the pine cone through the crystal. You're pulling in any EMFs into the pine cone. Good morning, this is Pixie. Um, just really extending on my other video I did. Basically, um, well, actually, you can see I'm driving as well, so if I'm not looking at you, that's why. Um, it's probably best to drive safely and focus on the road, but I can talk at the same time, so it's not really a big issue, it's like there's somebody else in the car. Um, so, and it's a bank holiday, I didn't have to do no, it. So, I did some work, um, as I mentioned before, about this um, to do with Orgon. So, you've got like um, principally the crystal amplifies, purifies. Energy frequencies, um, a kind of coil that they nickname it Tesla's coil. It draws in the energy and keeps it in, in the loop. And um, there's a law of attraction, basically. So if you've got look, if you've got an ambient amount of energy building up in an area, it draws things in, like um, like a magnet increasing in the strength field, suck in things a bit more. Um, then you've got your organic component, which is a part of the organ, uh, and that tends to absorb a lot of energy going in. I think you find with things like, um, well, I think this is where the crystal, crystal energy as well, is that um, with with like the earth, it will absorb energy, and then the energy will be sort of released um, at night. So you know, if you've got like, like a hot planet. Um, so it's interesting, sort of this uh, thermo thermodynamics in there, and I think that's also possibly an element of the crystal, crystal element of um, of um, basically uh, when you use them, or in this case when it's part of the earth, there's crystals in the earth they do that as well. So um, and the other thing as well is that. A big influence on, on the, some of my recent designs come from um, Anastasia Reinsida. Now the reason I say this is because I started to think about these resin cars. How can I make mine different? You know, I'm sort of excited to make a pyramid and get the stuff. I, know, I mean, I love the experiment anyway. I always have done. I've always been an alchemist at heart. Um, so I. I was thinking about it and then I decided that 
actually, um, you know, what can you put in a natural? Because you want to bring that element in there as well. Because why resin? Um, they say it's an organic component because of say, polyester, uh, oil derivatives, I guess. Um, it doesn't really have any genetic information. So, what sort of energy is it going to bring in? How does it organise the energy coming through the through the pyramid? And um, what's, what's what's it outputting? You know, you, there are organic things that are negative. So, and we can't eat oil. Um, the polyester is um, tolerable, but it's not. My biology doesn't like it particularly, so um, so I had to bring something else in there. So so what I've done is I've added this. Um, so I look at sort of like the pine cone. I've added the pine cone as, as I mentioned before, um, and that's um, the idea is that brings in a certain frequency of life force into the, the actual pyramid, and it has been quite powerful. It has been successful. You tend to feel like a, a cold energy coming off it. When I originally made this one recently, um, and I added a Lumerian sort of type of crystal, crystal quartz into the top of it, and wrapped a coil around it and all sorts of stuff. And um, yeah, it took about um, it took about about four to five hours to cool down. It really knocks out a lot of heat. There might not. I think it's to do this resin um, hardener stroke uh, mixing up with um, your resin. And if you mix it up a high amount, this is important safety notes, be careful what you put in there. I mixed all the charcoal and the things started smoking away and all sorts of energy was getting released. I was worried the whole thing might catch fire. I think it's pretty normal, that's a normal sort of process if it builds up a lot of energy. Um, and it will harden really quickly when it does that. You'd have to wait days, um, pretty much you, uh, you've got it sold basically. As I say, it's nice radiant energy. So I had this this thing yesterday that I made, and uh, when it was cool enough, I just sort of placed it against my skin, and it was like a hot stone, soothing, had a soothing energy type thing to it. <laughs> That's a pigeon. Um, <laughs> rather not run over a pigeon. Um, yeah, basically. So it's it was really nice to have this um, this energy radiating off it and I was putting on my body and other things. Here's my chest and things like warm super warm coming up it. Uh, a bit like a um, hot water ball really. And um, so when it's cooled down I can feel if you put your hand above it, you can feel the energy coming up and a lot of warmth. Now something else really interesting as well, and my dad suffers from uh, a mental illness, he's he's got schizophrenia and it's quite common so uh, I think we've got past all the sort of taboo stuff like ooh, scary. Um, but sadly, it's still out there. People say something like that. People step um, two meters to the right or the left or look for the nearest exit just in case. Um, so I put this, uh, and to be honest, all these interests in the stock markets and the, the, uh, and the spirit world being involved in money, which some of the stuff he says I just ver verify and check on the internet and elsewhere. And not all of what he says is, is BS. I mean, some of it is if he says he's somehow got high spiritual power and it's sort of, he goes beyond that, I am. Well, if you see, if you make a statement like he says, I am God, um, we all are. So it's kind of like I have these interesting debates with my dad. Anyway, that's not, that's not why I brought him up. Um, basically, I put the Orgon thing in, in, the, in um, my parents' property and I said it would help you, help you get lucky because he does interest in money. Um, but all it's given him is, is basically when it put it properly gives him a bit of a headache <laughs> and it's happened twice because something is negative energy or, or something associated with his mind it could even be healing to be honest um, but it gives him it gives him a bit of a headache he said he put a curse on it so <laughs> it's quite fun to do these sorts of things um, yeah so uh, so that's sort of interesting stuff and, uh, Lady. She's broken down or something, maybe she's looking for someone to fix her car. Uh, and, um, because <laughs> I'm working. And, um, so basically, yeah, so it has an, a, a measured effect. I have done the, another video where I showed sort of like this water and I put it next to all the almost products so that they get this benefit from it. At the moment, though, the only thing about the love of, oh my goodness, there we go, so I'm just cutting across my. Um, 
The other three is expense, so when you're working at Organite you might want to... or Organ. Nobody earns the word Organite or some, some pillock says he created the word or something. So what does he want? People to pay him? It's like saying Ology. I mean, there's, there's loads of different variants from Organ, so it's not exactly genius if someone says uh, like, Organite, Organology, you know, something like that. An Organism. <laughs> so it's not that special really. Um, so yeah, we're going to get this video to the end tonight. Um, so anyway, uh, this is Pixie out and I hope you have a good day.